Jay Leno's monologue is now available as an anti-inflammatory. Are you aware of that? Here's something. In medical news, you know, people who like Jay Leno, I don't think people really like Jay Leno per se. Per se. Um, I think the people who watch Jay Leno uh, are people who need to go to sleep at 11.45 every night. They have to, they have to go to sleep then. They have to. They have to get up at 8 or whatever they have to do. And then let's watch Letterman. No, I'd be too interested in that. Stick <laughs> that horrible Jay Leno on with his droning voice. I'll fall asleep to one of his hideous Britney Spears jokes. Put him on. That's right. If I wasn't fairly confident that I would never be invited on that show, I might be hesitant to do this material, but I don't care. Don't trust anyone on Twitter. I'm gonna hop around between material as opposed to the usual focused laser beam of material I do where every joke connects. Speaking of shoes, I was wearing a uh, frown. Uh, neither one of those jokes would be good. Look, um, on Twitter, I distrust uh, people who have like uh, 500,000 followers and then uh, but they, they don't follow anybody. That is the height of egomaniacal self-absorption. Because then you're basically saying, I'm not interested in what anybody else has to say. I just want to, I want to make pronouncements and then go to the mentions area and see what they're saying about it. I don't have a joke about this yet, but it, boy, it steams me. I'll tell you that. Huh? There are, there's not enough material out there in comedy of things that just steam you, but you don't really have a final uh, thought about them, huh? Remember Arsenio used to have things that make you go, hmm? Of course you don't remember. You remember nothing about Arsenio, for good reason. The brain has been invented to wipe out memories of things like Arsenio. Do you remember Up With People? No. Do you remember Wham? No. That's the way the, what, what is this? The double mic hold? I, I uh, packed with a lot of uh, mic holds. I was the, the I invent, this is the 80s co uh, edgy comic mic uh, grip. I patented this. Reagan, Iran-Contra, uh, Bush. Uh, did I mention Iran-Contra? All right. I was the first comic in 1992 to notice the difference between men and women. That was a big uh, advancement that year. I remember, remember, how, remember how hard it was before then? The comics, you know, they would do material like, uh, women are very sensitive. On the other hand, there are men who are also sensitive. Boom! I plowed through that. Plowed through it. So I did. You know, Alexander Graham Bell was the first person to sarcastically say, hello, oh, hello, hello. I invented the phone, hello. Oh man, how come I feel like I've mil I milk every joke? Uh, how come there's no, you know they have classic rock stations, classic rock, how come they don't have classic comedy stations? Wouldn't that be great, comedy radio? Comedy radio, all the hilarious bits of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. I hope everybody had a good Bill March. <laughs> it's three more months to Mocktober. Mocktober. <laughs> Coming up is an all repeat, not repeat, all repeat observational weekend. It's two hours of people noticing things. <laughs> He was a McNuggets block from 1987. I can't remember any of these the comedians' names, but they all wore their wood bottle of chicken in the McNuggets. Pretty <laughs> good, yeah? Don't forget Sound Effects Tuesday. All the comics will be doing their favorite. Oh, the drive through <laughs> oh. And we'll be riding around town with a Y95 funny van, so come on up on the your Sound Effects of the thing. This one's from, all right, this one's from uh, 1999. It's Craig Shoemaker, the Love Master, doing a Y2K KY Jelly Chunk. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Hope you enjoy it. This one's from 2003. It's Lisa Lampanelli. I don't think it's comedy. It sounds more like a racist rant. See what you think about it. Check it out. See what you think about it. Check it out. 